What is up everyone, it is Sacred Saiyan here, welcoming you back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be swapping the battles of the fusions Vegito and Gogeta. Now, this isn't going to be a video where I scale the individual fusions and then say if they would win a fight. Like me saying, Vegito is stronger than Gogeta, so he just wins all those fights automatically. Because no matter which fusion you believe is stronger, they are relative, so that doesn't matter as much. I'll be more focused on the personalities of each fusion, how they fight, and their different movesets. And centering that all around a story, so it makes sense for them to use those particular fusions. If you guys enjoy this different style of what if, then make sure to like the video and subscribe. Also comment down below if you want to see me do more videos like this. If you want to talk to me and my community, then you can join my Discord server in the description of the video. And I also want to give credit for this idea, as it was inspired by Thunder God's video, with Naruto and Sasuke swapping fights, which I watched some time ago. So you can check that out as well, if you'd like to. And with all of that out of the way, let's get in to the video. This video begins in the Boo Saga. Goku is still given the Patara earrings, and heads to Earth in order to fuse with Gohan. However, when he throws Gohan the earring, he still fails to catch it, and ends up getting absorbed. In this scenario, Goku is unable to retrieve the earring after Gohan fails to catch it, meaning, once Vegeta arrives, and Goku convinces him to fuse, Vegito isn't an option, as they don't have the other earring. But Boo is heading straight for them, so Goku quickly uses instant transmission, to teleport back to the world of the Kai with Vegeta, where Goku quickly begins teaching Vegeta the fusion dance. They don't have any extra Patara earrings, so the fusion dance is their only resort. On Earth, Boo is confused, looking around, trying to find Goku and Vegeta, but after a short amount of time, he senses a new presence appear in the wasteland, and he quickly darts towards it, but he is shocked, as a fighter who looks like a grown-up Goten stands before him. Boo asks who the fighter is, and Gogeta introduces himself as neither Goku nor Vegeta. He is the fusion of the pair, known as Gogeta and he will put an end to Majin Buu. Gogeta would immediately power up to Super Saiyan and begin fighting against Buu, taking a much more serious approach than Vegito, and dominating Buu while he comes up with a strategy to take him down and save his friends who are trapped inside of him. Gogeta does get the idea of letting himself get absorbed like Vegito does in canon. However, that is a risky option, and Gogeta has something in his moveset which is a much safer bet. Gogeta jumps back, raising one of his arms into the air as a rainbow-coloured orb appears in his hand, which he then throws in the direction of Boo. Boo believes he can regenerate from anything Gogeta throws at him, so he flies straight through the ball of energy in the direction of Gogeta. But the moment it makes contact, Boo realises his mistake. He was just hit by the Soul Punisher, which completely erases all the evil within whoever it makes contact with. So... This is quite literally the perfect move to use against Boo here, as he removes the evil Boo and Kid Boo, only leaving behind a pure good fat Boo, along with all his friends, putting an end to the threat of Majin Boo in a better fashion than Vegito in this scenario. So, Gogeta passes the first fight and has one win on his record. We now head to the events of the Fusion Reborn movie. Originally, Goku and Vegeta would fuse into Gogeta, and once they perform the dance properly, they are able to make swift work of Janemba, winning the battle without wasting any time. But here, things will be different. Goku and Vegeta would still resolve to fuse, however they can't risk messing up the fusion here. Janemba is a huge threat, so if they mess up the fusion, they could be screwing over the entire universe, and even the afterlife as well. Fortunately, both Elder Kai and Kabuto Kai have been watching their fight through their orb on the world of the Kais, and they get in contact with Goku and Vegeta telepathically, saying that they will bring them a pair of Patara earrings, as that is guaranteed to work. Elder Kai then takes off his earrings, giving them to Kabuto Kai, who teleports to Goku and Vegeta, giving them the earrings, before quickly teleporting back to the world of the Kais. The pair would then fuse into Vegito, and they would call out Janemba. Vegito would begin the battle in his base form, trading blows with Janemba. However, as they do so, Vegito would begin insulting the monster, damaging him, and Vegito 
would realise this. So he would power up to Super Saiyan, ramping up the pressure as he would continue insulting Janemba, while Janemba can't even damage Vegito at this point. Vegito would just be toying with Janemba. However, he would get bored and decide to finish this once and for all. Vegito would stab Janemba with his spirit sword, shouting a final insult at the creature, shattering him and weakening his defense long enough for Vegito to jump back and fire a final Kamehameha, atomizing Janemba completely. And so, Vegito adds a win to his record as well. However, one downside to Vegito here is that he actually ends up killing the kid inside Janemba. So, Gogeta actually had a slightly better win. But either way, Vegito's cocky nature, along with how he always insults his opponents, perfectly played to Janemba's weakness. And so, Vegito has now tied up the score with Gogeta, both of them having a win. Now, there's a much larger skip, as we head all the way to Dragon Ball Super with the Goku Black Art. Vegeta and Goku both know they can't take Merge Damasu down by themselves. They have no other option, they need to fuse. Shin and Goasu say that they can give them Patara earrings to fuse, but Goku disagrees. The pair ask why. Vegeta even being curious as well, but Goku says, beating Zamasu by taking even more from the gods won't prove anything. They'll be doing exactly what Zamasu accused them of, imitating the gods. They need to prove to Zamasu the strength of mortals, along with their spirit, to protect each other. Not all mortals are like what Zamasu thinks. Shin asks how they are going to do that, and Vegeta finally catches on and can't help but smirk saying fine, let's get this over with. Goku shows Vegeta the dance, Shin even using telepathy to replay it in Vegeta's head so he can learn it faster. The pair then perform the fusion dance, and due to luck and plot convenience, Gogeta is born first try. Zamasu would ask the merged being who he is, Gogeta introducing himself, and Zamasu is angered, saying once again the mortals imitate the gods, with their disgusting version of fusion. But Gogeta disagrees, saying he is born out of mortals learning to use their own strength to defend one another, not needing to rely on the gods. Gogeta is the will of every mortal in the universe, and he will defeat Zamasu. Gogeta powers up into Super Saiyan Blue, and he rushes towards Zamasu. The sheer sight of Gogeta disgusting every fibre of Zamasu's being, but what's even worse, is Gogeta is winning. Zamasu would fire a blast at Gogeta. However, Gogeta would swipe it away, saying it's futile, as he would rush towards Zamasu and kick up into Zamasu's jaw, before spinning and hitting a gut punch on the merged fighter, blowing the wind out of Zamasu, which Gogeta takes advantage of, jumping back as he powers up a big bang Kamehameha. Gogeta knows he has limited time as this fusion, so he needs to take full advantage. Gogeta then fires the beam, hitting Zamasu head on, and even more of his body becomes mangled. His immortality not functioning as it should, due to only being half immortal while fused. Gogeta then raises his arm into the air, and charges up a rainbow coloured ball of energy, and Zamasu gets enraged, rushing towards Gogeta and trying to punch him. But just as he is about to hit Gogeta, Zamasu is hit by the Soul Punisher, and begins screaming in pain as he is erased by the attack. Even if you believe Zamasu is pure of heart, as he believes his actions were in the name of justice, that doesn't mean he isn't evil. He may believe he is in the right, but he isn't. His actions are evil, and so is Zamasu which means the Soul Punisher is greatly effective, and I believe this is where Gogeta would defeat Zamasu, though I would give the win to Gogeta here. However, there still can be arguments made for Zamasu surviving due to his immortality, such as becoming Infinite Zamasu, which would mean Gogeta doesn't win the fight technically. However, I do believe due to the nature of the Soul Punisher, this wouldn't take place, also because Zamasu isn't fully immortal here, only being half immortal due to Goku Black being a part of the fusion and him not having that immortality. But for argument's sake, I will give Gogeta the win here, meaning it is currently two wins for Gogeta and one for Vegito. But if you personally 
they want to give Gogeta that win, then that is understandable. So now, we reach the final scenario in this what if, as we head into the Broly movie. We are at the point where Goku and Vegeta have tried to perform the fusion dance twice now, but have failed both times. Vegeta gets aggravated, saying this is a waste of time. They need to get back to the battlefield now, before things get out of hand. They can't waste any more time trying to perform this stupid dance. Shin then appears next to them, saying that he has been watching from his planet and believes he can help with that, giving Goku and Vegeta a Patara earring each. As he stands back, Piccolo and Shin watching as they put on the earrings and fuse into Vegito. Piccolo is astonished. He never actually got to see Vegito before, but this is the third time Shin has got to see this merged warrior, and he is just more astonished by their power every single time. Vegito then appears on the battlefield, but this time he has a significantly different approach. He knows from his fight with Zamasu that he can't expend all of his energy so quickly, otherwise he will defuse. So instead, he decides to pace himself, going for his forms like Gogeta does in canon. However, Vegito does still throw his traditional insults at Broly, but he quickly realises that Broly is still growing in power. So if he keeps growing, and Vegito ends up defusing before stopping him, there's going to be a lot of trouble. So, Vegito gets serious and transformed into Super Saiyan Blue, making the gap so wide between him and Broly that it's going to take a while before Broly can do anything to him at all. Vegito begins to beat Broly down. Broly isn't even able to land a hit, and eventually, Vegito can tell he's about to defuse, so he launches Broly back with a thunderous punch before powering up a final Kamehameha to end the fight. He knows deep down that Broly might be a good person, but he can't risk the planet on that. Vegito then fires the blast, Broly still being saved by the wish, as he gets teleported to Vampa, and Vegito quickly reverts to base form in order to stay fused just a bit longer. Frieza sees Chi Lai and Lemo flying off, ready to shoot a death beam at their ship, but Vegito grabs Frieza's arm, stopping him from doing so, and Frieza isn't aware that Vegito is practically at his limit, so he decides to leave for now, and moments later, Vegito defuses, Goku and Vegeta being thankful that their bluff paid off. And so, Vegito racks up another win, meaning the final scores are 2-2. Vegito would win both of the fights Gogeta had, while Gogeta, in my opinion, would win both the fights Vegito had as well. However, even if you say he doesn't win to Zamasu, neither did Vegito in canon, so it isn't necessarily a knock on Gogeta. But yeah, I mean it makes sense. Gogeta and Vegito both succeed where the other did, their personalities and movesets actually being beneficial in certain ways for the different matchups. But no matter which fusion you prefer, or which fusion you believe is stronger, they are both the strongest in the universe. Anyway, I thought this was quite an interesting video, and a bit different to my traditional what if, so if you guys enjoy this style of video, and want to see more, then make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below what other scenario you would like to see me do. Remember, if you want to talk to me and the rest of my community, you can join my Discord server in the description of the video, and I want to give a huge thank you to my channel members. I appreciate you guys for the support, and if you guys want to support me, then you can become a channel member as well. But yeah, with that out of the way, Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Goodbye, guys.